been doing it. So deal for Zal. Hey, market analysts at CFDs.com bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 12th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's see exactly where these markets are positioned. Let's see exactly where they're headed. This morning, uh, Asian markets overnight certainly took a cue from uh, US markets with the NASDAQ plunge plunging minus 200 points uh, towards the late session due to uh, potential uh, innovation concerns in Apple. Apparently, the wireless technology wasn't up to scratch or, or on par with Samsung and the rest of the competition, and therefore, obviously, with uh, Apple certainly being the potential leader in innovation and, uh, and technological advancement, it certainly the stock was certainly punished quite significantly, and that certainly led the Fang stocks to uh, to certainly go into uh, uh, a potential uh, liquidation mode on the back of uh, I think it was Goldman Sachs uh, report and another report as well, Bank of America report with regards to potential overvaluation concerns. Which, to be honest with you, we've known since uh, how long have we known the Nasdaq being overvalued in the Fed itself said the Nasdaq was overvalued, but with a 200 point drop in the Nasdaq, that certainly is cause for concern. So therefore, uh, Asian markets certainly coming under pressure. Now, the reason why Asian markets also came under pressure were due to other factors too. Uh, obviously, the political, political chaos in the UK continues with the uh, with the UK government now siding with the potential terrorist linked party, uh, the uh, DUP. Okay, certainly uh, are anti-gay as well. I mean, they've got a lot of controversial policies, but really, I think the biggest link is given the fact that they accused Mr. Corbyn of having terrorist links. They're now happy to uh, certainly forge those links, if not already, obviously, supplying the Saudis with with uh, with weapons of mass destruction. So the UK uh, political landscape certainly is one of a bearish nature, from my understanding and my interpretation, and therefore remains in risk-off mode. We had Fitch, Moody's and the S&P raising concerns on the UK economy and the potential credit rating for the UK going forward, obviously due to political chaos and uh, given the fact that it's a home parliament and really it's a minority government. And with Miss May, uh, certainly a lot of calls for head over the weekend, a lot of disunity and a lot of, um, as I say, chaos, OK, the coalition of chaos. And that certainly isn't positive for the UK economy. Uh, OK, uh, the other factor as well, Japanese coal machine orders certainly coming in uh, weaker as well. Uh, we had UK consumer spending from Visa certainly coming to a four-year low, and therefore that didn't help either. So Asian markets generally down, and obviously concerns there, geopol concerns too. Okay, now in terms of the uh, actual European markets, where where do we stand at present? Uh, European markets at present, the FTSE more or less flat, although it was down initially overnight on the back of uh, obviously political chaos. The German DAX down 120 points following its uh, US pairs, especially the NASDAQ. The uh, relationship between the NASDAQ and the uh, SM, uh, DAX is quite prolific, so keep an eye on that. In terms of the French CAC, we have a 50-point drop in the French CAC. FTSE MIB as well, down 130 points. So certainly uh, down across the board, so certainly looking at risk aversion, certainly being embraced across the board. Okay, now in terms of the technical picture, let's bring up the charts for you first and foremost. Let's look at the German DAX here, folks. Looking at the daily chart, we still have that double top certainly holding and therefore looking for risk aversion to continue once we hold that double top you're looking for a lower high we've certainly flushed lower down to 12665 we're looking for further weakness here as well okay so again you've hold that held that gap fill we held gap fill at uh, 12830 and obviously we've sold off ever since looking at 10 minute chart on the uh, german dax you're certainly coming into support a gap gap fill here at 12670 and then obviously you have support further down below if we continue to flush at 12,660, which we bounced from 12,666 today. And then you are looking at support at 12,640 as well. So keep an eye on the unfilled gap above as well. If there is a catalyst, that certainly sends the index higher. Keep an uh, observation there. In terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC, folks. Okay, French CAC here, daily chart. Uh, certainly holding that key or hugging onto that key support line at 5,230 on the French CAC. 60 minute chart we certainly flushed down to 5238 we've bounced up to 5250 now so you are looking at support on the french cac at this juncture 10 minute chart french cac certainly bouncing keep an eye on that okay you have an unfilled gap left above so again observation required there too okay so i've got a gap fill above we've hit a pivot low of 5235 on the french cac so certainly keep an eye out for that okay now in terms of the FTSE 100 from my perspective the FTSE technically should be the weakest index out of them all especially the uncertainty the uh, consumer spending decline okay uh, so all those factors together certainly should be risk and negative 
but it certainly seems like it's being perceived as being positive. The daily chart has a uh, H&S formation with the right shoulder now at 61%, so therefore looking for a move lower. 60-minute chart, we did have a diagonal trend line. It certainly seems to be breaking that as we speak, so let's see exactly how it responds. You do have the uh, pivot high, where we certainly had the pivot high from the pivot low. We certainly seem to be in that, or exceeded that 75%. If we do exceed that, the next resistance level is seen at 7545 and let's see how the market responds there. So keep an eye out there, folks, okay, in terms of the FTSE 100. Looking at the 10-minute chart on the FTSE for you, uh, you've certainly gone through that key resistance at 7530. You're testing the resistance now at 7535. Uh, certainly looking for that to hold, okay, certainly look for that to hold. If you do break, then you are looking at 7550 and 7555. So let's see how the FTSE unfolds. Okay, so I think that's a good summation. Last but not least, really, let's just quickly look at the uh, euro stocks. Certainly into support in this region, three five four five. Certainly into uh, support at this juncture. Looking at the ten minute chart here now. Okay, so again, looking at double bottom support. Certainly bounced. Okay, if we do retrace now, you are looking at previous support equals resistance, and then you do have the unfilled gap above. So again, that's another fact that certainly needs to be taken into consideration. Okay, I think that's a good summation then, folks. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.